All right. So um, our next little project that we're going to do in Google Sheets is we're going to learn how to insert a chart and how to uh, choose a different kind of chart. So we are going to collect data about what everybody's favorite kind of candy is from these seven choices. So just for demonstration purposes, I made up these numbers. Okay. So how you insert a chart, because I think it's important to know how to insert a chart because charts usually make data more relatable. It's easier to see what the data is telling you, what the numbers are telling you if you can see it. Okay, so what you're going to do is click and hold in your first cell and select the information that you want included in the chart. So you need the name of the candy and you need the totals. With that selected, Go to insert, come down here to chart, and by default, it's going to put in this type of chart, a column chart. Notice it's fairly large. Notice that the chart is right now, it's selected, so it can be changed. So it's kind of dominating our whole window. So grab the corner, and let's pull that back so it's not quite as large. Then you can click and hold on the chart and move it over here. So go ahead and do all that that I just showed you. So now you can see the Snickers is right between the two and the four. You also can put your mouse on it and it will tell you the numbers. If you didn't have this available, if you're just going to like copy this chart and then put it in whatever document you were working on. But it's very easy to see that Reese's is the favorite and then M&M's and very few people apparently like nerds. Okay. Now be careful because this chart is selected and if you accidentally you hit delete, it's going to delete that chart. So we want to click off the chart. Now I want to put in a different kind of chart with the same information. So select your information again, go to insert, go to chart. It's going to put in the same uh, column chart. Let's make it a little smaller so we can work with it. Let's move it over here so we can work with it. I think pie charts are very easy to read. So with this one still selected, we still want the first one, but with this one selected, come over here to column where it says chart type, column chart, click on it, and let's go down to a pie chart. Okay, so this is the same exact information, but I think it's a little bit easier to read sometimes. Okay, click off of it, and you've got two charts for your candy data that we selected. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Maybe we're talking about um, your favorite type of shoes. Okay, so we're going to click and hold in Nike. Come down and select all the information. Insert your chart. It's, it's, it's a column chart. We'll make that quite a bit smaller. Drag it down here across from our um, uh, shoe brands. Click off of it so that we're preserving this. We want to select it again. Let's go insert a chart. And when you get over here to the types of charts, there are lots of different kinds. If you were trying to show like some a data point through time, this might be a good type of chart. And you know, across the bottom was time. You can see what um, your data did through time column charts, bar charts that are basically column charts that are on their side, pie charts. This is like a little 3D pie chart. This is a like you're looking from the top pie chart. Okay, so we want to go back here and just make another pie chart. Let's make a 3D pie chart this time. Make it quite a bit smaller. And you can see from this very clearly that Adidas is the most popular and then Nike and then New Balance, and then Vans, and then Converse. Okay, save this file and turn it in. And then I would like you to think about what other thing, being candy or um, you know, uh, shoe brand, maybe you're going to do your own research on what is the best video game, what is the best free video game. And you can make up, you can make up your own choices. And you can ask everybody in the class, you know, what what of these, and limit how many choices there are because you you just end up with a whole plethora of of a variety of things. So limit your choices that you're asking people to like 
no more than about six or so um, choices and make a new chart. You won't turn in your second one. You're going to turn in this one with the candy and the shoe uh, brands, but make another one that is something that you're interested in. Maybe you're interested in fishing poles. What's the best type of fishing pole? Now, that's probably not going to go over too well because there might not be a whole lot of people in class that know a lot about fishing poles. But think about something that um, you know, you're trying to conduct some research about and gather your data and then let's chart that.